Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today, I will be wrapping up the Massacre reviews uh, with Cheerleader Massacre 2, which, just like the first movie, uh, this sucks. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little hiccup there. It was not the video. But yeah, this was a pretty, another pretty lousy movie but luckily it's the last one so i don't have to ever talk about these movies again and this is actually the only one uh either cheerleader massacre or sorority house massacre two and three that was not directed by jim wynorski jim wynorski actually turned down this movie he was smart because this movie sucks <laughs> but uh before i go <coughs> damn before I go any further, let me take a drink. I'm dying over here. Sorry about that. I don't know what the heck was going on there. Anyway, um, before I go any further, if any, this time, uh, if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request, you may do so down below in the description box. There is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big, no amount is too small. It does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series or a cartoon or a comic book or a video game or music, random thoughts and discussions and rants and streams and commentaries and anything in between. So again, if that is something that you are interested in, click on the link, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um... Like I said in the last video, this will be the last non-paid request for a little bit. All of this week and a little bit of next week will be all paid requests. And then I will also do some some more videos that are non-paid requests. Because next week I graduate school. So after that, uh, I will have more time to do more videos, obviously. So I will you know, uh, you know, knock out the paid requests and then do some stuff in between and, and all that stuff. So, yeah. So just about another week here of school. And then um, there's two two sets of videos that I really, really want to get done before the year is out. And I might have time to do a couple of movie, like movies that I want to review. I might have time to do a couple of those. We'll just see how things play out. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we'll get back to the paid request soon. So I will, I am catching up on them slowly but surely. Um, getting there. It's just busy right now with school and work and everything else. But for those that have sent them in, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel. And you want to see me try out some different things. So, yeah. And it's a win-win because not only do you guys get to see more type of videos that you want to see. But it also motivates me to keep wanting to make videos. So you guys get what you want. I get what I want. Everybody goes, go, go, left, dip, dip, dip. They took our jobs. Everybody goes home, goes home happy. Can't talk. I need to go to bed. It, I need to go home and go to bed. <laughs> Everybody goes home happy, like they used to say at Blockbuster back in the day. Um, yeah. So anyway, whatever. I really don't want to talk about this movie. Maybe that's the other thing. But Cheerleader Massacre 2. Pretty much the same thing as last time. The only thing that they switch up is the all the, the cheerleaders are at cheerleading camp. There's a killer out there. But also there's this weird thing with like this killer drone type of thing. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't care. Same as same as before. There's a bunch of titties in this movie and people fucking and all that good stuff and trying to be a slasher movie, but not really. Another really lame film. And again, like I said at the top of the video, Jim Wynorski turned this down. I don't blame him. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people don't like Jim Wynorski. I like some of his movies. I haven't seen every single movie that he's done, but I like Chopping Mall. Chopping Mall is a classic can't deny that i like some of the movies where they took footage from other movies like militia with dean kane because i'm a sucker for dean kane even though people don't like him because he's normal um you know some of those some of those films i do like but yeah i, I could see why he turned this one down 
um, either the he just hated the script or the money wasn't good or what have you. But again, this is really cheap, really, really cheap. It again, I don't know what the damn obsession was in the 2000s. Now, this came out in 2011. Now, I don't know if this was filmed at that time or it was filmed prior and it just came out then. But throughout the 2000s and even the early 2010s, there was the obsession with making, I don't know if it was the film that they were using or the actual equipment that they were using, but there was a weird obsession with, you know, like digital cameras, like you could buy a Walmart, you know, like the, the camera that I have at home. They wanted every movie to look like that. And even a lot of theatrical films did that. So it wasn't just directed video stuff. There were theatrical films that looked like they were filmed on digital cameras. And I don't mean like digital like movie cameras. I mean like again, the cameras that you buy at Walmart. This looked like a movie that me and my friends used to make in my backyard when I was in high school. Like that kind of look. And I don't know, I guess Blair Witch had a lot to do with that because Blair Witch um, I don't know if they shot it on video or they just made it look like it was video when they were editing, but they wanted that video look to it. And, you know, sometimes it works. The original Blair Witch is a great movie. Sometimes it doesn't work. Like a lot of other things that tried to be like that. Because some of the, you know, some of the directed video Steven Seagal movies look like that. Some of the Van Damme ones did. Some of the Dolph Lundgren ones. And I'm like, why can't they just shoot this fucking thing on 35 millimeter and make it look good? Because 35 millimeter is where it's at. But whatever. So, yeah. It just looks very, very cheap. The CG is god awful. Especially in the beginning when the drone, like, it looks like in Predator 2 that, like, blade disc thing i don't know what the fucking name of it is but that thing that predator had the blade disc thing it tries to be that and it's like decapitating people and the cg is really bad again i know it's a directed video movie but there's been directed video movies that have actually looked pretty good not all of them can be like that unfortunately not all and then the rest of the makeup and stuff is not that good but this movie really blows. Um, you know, I could see why this didn't come out in America. The only place that... Oh, the first movie is on DVD in America for people that are curious. I'm not sure if I said that in the review or not. But it's on YouTube for free. Same with this movie. It's on YouTube for free. It's complete. Unlike the first film. The first film was missing like the last 10 minutes or something. Um... But this only ever came out on DVD in Japan, and it's really hard to find. Not that I would want to find it, because I would never, ever watch this movie again. But just for people that like to collect or whatever, it only came out in Japan, and it's hard to get. Again, I could see why this never came out in America. But it's just dog shit. This is a dog shit movie. Now, I will admit, the lead girl is really cute. I, I'm not afraid to say that, but... Well, no, I appreciate a good-looking woman. But that's really kind of the best thing, you know. And she's like the nice girl, so you don't see her titties, but that's okay. Um, oh, well. But at the end of the day, out of the Massacre movies, the only ones that I were fond of was really Slumber Party Massacre. The first Slumber Party Massacre was good. Two and three are not as good as the first, but I like them for what they are. Especially two, because two was trying to do something different. But Sorority House Massacre, I wasn't really big on those movies, and I definitely did not give a shit about Cheerleader Massacre. So out of eight movies, I only like three. Well, really the first one, and again, two, uh, two and three are okay. So I only really like three out of eight. But oh well. But I had never seen these movies. Again, I had particularly wanted to see Slumber Party Massacre and Sorority House Massacre. Number one, it was a paid request, so I had a reason to watch it. And number two, I just remember being a kid in the video store and seeing the covers for these on VHS and like, oh, I want to watch those. So I don't know why it took me so long to see them, but I enjoyed them. I really did enjoy the Slumber Party Massacre movies and definitely will pick them up on Blu-ray. The rest of these, uh, Sorority House Massacre I'll pick up because the Blu-ray has an interview with Roger Corman. So that's, you know. The only reason why I would get that. But the rest of these, I will never watch again. 
Again, if you're really curious about these movies, Cheerleader Massacre 1 and 2 are on here on YouTube for free. Sorority House Massacre 2 and Hard to Die are on YouTube for free. And then 2B has uh, Slumber Party Massacre 1, 2, and Sorority House Massacre. And then Slumber Party Massacre 3 is here on YouTube for free. So, yeah. But anyway, um, that's it for these movies. Next up, I will be getting into some more paid requests from another good dude here on YouTube, Leon Woodworth. He wanted me to review a certain comic book character that is not DC or Marvel, but had a couple of movies and a cartoon and all kinds of stuff. Uh, he wanted me to do a few videos on that, and then he also wanted me to do a rant on Ninja Turtles 2012. So those are what's coming up next in terms of the paid requests, and then we'll go from there. So until then, guys, thank you for watching. Take care. We will talk soon. See you.